Today on Bits, I'm going to teach you how to find the center of different shapes. Hey, I'm Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. No matter what type of stuff you make, you often need to be able to find the center of shapes. In fact, if you're working on the lathe, you have to know where the center is so that you can mount the piece correctly. If you need to split a piece right in half, you gotta know where the middle is. So we're gonna talk about how to find the center of triangles, circles, and rectangles. But let's start with rectangles, because they're the simplest. Take your rectangle and draw a line from opposing corners. You're gonna end up with two lines, and where those lines intersect is the center point. That's pretty easy, and it also kind of translates over to circles. Take your circle and put a right angle around the outside of it. You might want to use a big framing square for this. From the corner of that right angle, draw a line at 45 degrees across your workpiece. Then rotate the workpiece and draw another one. And where those two lines intersect is the center. Now if you have a shape that's not a perfect circle, you can get basically the same thing. If you keep rotating the shape and drawing more lines, you'll end up with a smaller and smaller area that gets you closer and closer to the center of the piece. And lastly, let's talk about triangles. This one's also really simple. You find the center point of each one of the sides and then draw a line from that point to the opposing corner. Where all three of those lines intersect is the center of your triangle. But of course, there's a bunch of different ways to find the center of all different types of shapes, and I'm sure you have some awesome tips that I would love for you to share down in the comments. Big thanks to Brightwood College for sponsoring this video, and if you want to find out more about them, click the link right there. I've also got a playlist of other Bits videos, and I'll be back later this week with a new project. I'll see you then.